Yeah, but but that reminds me. Do you think that uh, Donald Trump jokes, whether you support him, whether you don't, but do you think that Donald Trump jokes are boring? Uh, I th- I do one now, and I think they phase themselves out. I mean, a lot of people still do them online. I see them less and less in terms of stand up. Um, but I do one where I go like people think I support the president and I because I the way I look, the way I talk, but I don't like I voted for him. I went to the Charlottesville rally. I rented a Dodge Challenger for a friend. But other than that, I don't. And then it's like I didn't even vote for him because I'm a Canadian, so I, I can't vote. But I, I do like watching the insanity that happens. Look. Does he do idiotic stuff? Yes. Is he hilarious? Yes. He's a, so many people say he's one of the top comics on Twitter. And uh, he, he's hilarious. I mean, look, he's the president that this country deserved. There's no two ways about it. He's the president this country deserved. Yeah. But, it, of course, you mentioned this lovely man's name earlier, and I had him on. Like, I'm a fan of the guy, but... Uh, it's a lot of controversy surrounding him and stuff. So uh, talk to me. What's it like working uh, with Anthony Cumia? Uh, when I I got to sit in, when, when Artie was gone and they were kind of trying to figure out who was going to take over that spot. So Artie went to rehab or whatever. And I go, look, if, if you need someone to sit in, I sit in. So I know they were looking at Landau. And, you know, I was like, oh, this would be a great job. I have in hot water, so I would, I would never leave in hot water. But sitting opposite Anthony, he's so funny, so quick, so brilliant, so responsible for, uh, you know, shock jock radio. A- and uh, he's just brilliant. He's hilarious. Any, any, uh, any type of shit I've heard about him you always wonder like, where's this coming from? And, and why do people hate him? Those people that hate him, because I've heard all the bullshit I've watched, like people make documentaries about him and stuff like that. He's hilarious. He's a gracious host. You know, he has everybody over to his house all the time. He's really good to his friends. The rest of the shit I've watched, you know, where he, the stuff he got arrested for and stuff like that, where, you know, and then the charges go away and stuff. And I don't know where the rest of this stuff comes from. I don't know. I, I can only guess that as a shock jock, you make a lot of fucking enemies. You know? And, and I guess that's why people start coming from you. Anything I know of the guy, he's been a great guy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange that the hit that Anthony gets. Because when I put up the YouTube version of his uh, interview, uh, literally within one hour, it had over 2,000 views and about... Uh, like 40 comments of, of people just shitting all over him. And, and it's like, where'd they come from? Yeah. Oh, he's got a lot of people that dislike him. But you got to bear in mind, when they were doing that show, and there's such a history because of ONA, uh, there was so many fans, you know, hundreds of thousands of fans. And uh, and I guess people are out for him. I, I guess that's what it is. And um, I mean, I don't know what to make of it. People will call into our show and talk shit about him, and it doesn't really affect us. You know, we do our own thing. Um, but he's got a great network. He, he gave a platform to so many people that are supportive of freedom of speech and, and uh, funniness. So it's like when people go after him and they're like, you're a racist. You know, most of it comes from comedy. and uh, But it, we're in a time where it's like, if you joke about race, you're a racist. If you joke about rape, People are like, you're a rapist. So it's a weird time, and it'll be interesting to see. And, you know, the big incident that happened to him a few years ago, like why he had to leave Sirius, uh, that's years ago. And I think it's falling away, but I also think a lot of people will remember stuff like that, you know? And I watched it happen live. Like, when, when it was happening, I was on Twitter, and I was like, oh, this is going. And you watched him live tweeting it. But I'll always, I'll always appreciate the fact that he never apologized. He never took the tweets down, you know, and uh, he, he left serious that day and then started up his own thing, which is a ballsy thing to do. A lot of people forget that. A lot of people forget when you look at like an Anthony or a Louie, someone that, you know, loses everything and then they come back. Nobody mentions the fact that that's heroic. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, this th- these women that... Uh, 
told on Louis. They're so brave. And Bill took a year off, and now he's back doing great stand-up. No one mentions that. Mm. And, and it's, it's a very unpopular belief to hold. But you have to see that side of the story. It, picture yourself in that situation, like being disgraced and not being able to work and not being able to do this thing that you love. And sure, you got money put aside so your kids can still go to school and stuff. But then to want to go back to it and to have that, you know, picture what's going through Louie's mind when he shows up at a comedy club and stuff like that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But uh, the one thing Anthony does have going for him, your beautiful big bright eyes, like a real man. Yeah, mine are green or blue or something because they're sensual. <laughs>